Hello everyone, welcome for a new tutorial regarding the Greenponic ECPH auto dosing system. Today we are going to talk about EC and pH calibration. And in order to do that, you'll need to follow those steps. First, you need to install your Greenponic kit with your water brain and water pump. You'll need also a container with some clean water uh, so that you will rinse the sensors with it later on. You also need four calibration solutions and four measurement cups that are usually provided with your calibration solutions. Now set everything up. We will use both high and low calibration for solutions for EC and pH. You will fill approximately half of each cup with your calibration solution. The best is to use those cups and to leave those in front of the corresponding bottle so that you will not um, use the wrong one after that. Now unclip both your water sensors from the water sensor holder so that you can rinse both water sensor in plain water. Be careful not to damage any of the electrodes. Same thing when you're drawing up the sensors be very careful with the electrodes that can be easily broken. Now place your pH sensor in the pH 7 solution and the EC sensor in the EC 2.76 solution. And now we'll go on the app. So we have those sensors prepared, we just have to click on each one. Let's try EC first. So I click on the EC tile calibration because we are doing this video click on skip and we will calibrate one of the two points right now our sensor is uh, with a 2.76 solution so we click we click calibrate 2.76 calibration can last a um, long time or short time uh, let's say between one second and 30 seconds and after the calibration is finished you can click on quick quit again and we'll make the calibration for the pH. Okay, same thing, we click on skip. And here uh, we've put a bit of warning because it's very important to start with pH 7 and not pH 4 in order for the system to work. So I click on pH 7, wait a bit, and then click on quit and quit again. So we're back at our dashboard and we can see that both EC and pH aren't reading the, the right um, values yet. So this is because we've made the first calibration point and now we have to do the second one. In order to do the second one, you will have to take sensors out of their calibration solution, rinse them with water and dry them without damaging the electrodes. So we put the sensors in the low point calibration solutions, which are 1.41 for the EC and 4.0 for the pH. Now we'll do the calibration again in the app. First EC calibration, skip 1.41. We wait a bit and we're done. So click on quit and quit again. For pH calibration, skip calibrate 4.0 and click on quit and quit again. So if everything worked, the values are supposed to be refreshed within a few seconds or so and are supposed to uh, match your calibration solution. So at this stage, you should have 1.41 or something for EC and 4 point something for pH. Here you see it just refreshed the values and we can see that we are on point uh, with the calibration solution we are using. The best thing to do if you want to be absolutely sure your system is ready to go is to put your sensors back into the high point calibration solutions and see if it reads the value it's supposed to read. 
If yes, well, you can proceed with installing the sensors in your water tank. So we'll do the swap right now. And we will wait a few seconds so that the app can refresh the new values and hopefully have uh, values on target. To accelerate this process, you can try to change views. So for example, go uh, within the water pump view right here and go back or open the EC view, go back, same for pH, go back as soon as it's stabilized. All right, so the values have refreshed and you can see that we are at 2.76 for the EC, which is perfect. And for pH, 6.99, which is nearly 7.0, so it's perfect too. At this step, you should have accurate results and you are able to put your sensors back into your water tank after um, a last cleanup with some plain water. So bear in mind that when you calibrate your sensors, you will maybe not have the exact result you're looking for. The important thing is that you have to be near this result. If we have 6.99 for 7.0, it's okay. It's very near the target. If we have 6.8, it's quite a bit far. And in that case, my advice is to send us an email at support at greenponic.com. If you reach the end of the calibration process and you can see and you see that the EC or pH or both are not on point with the calibration solution, that means that your calibration hasn't succeed uh, as intended. So with this kind of situation, you can reset the calibrations. To reset the calibration, for example, for EC, you click on EC you click on calibration and you click on reset calibration. There will be a prompt that will ask you to confirm. You click on yes. And you'll have a prompt to tell you that uh, the changes have been carried out successfully. After that, you will have to do the calibration again. As pH and EC work on different systems, we'll have to reset the calibration for pH in the pH menu. So let's click reset. I choose confirm. And I've got the prompt that the change has been carried out successfully. Now let's get back to the, our main menu. From there, uh, you will have to do the calibration again. If it still fails, uh, you can send us an email at support at greenponic.com. So that's it for today. In the next video, we will talk about uh, the pump calibration because it's also important to calibrate your pumps in order to have accurate dosing. See you soon. Bye-bye.